Wow, I need to go on but it's good, my people. Happy Friday. Uh, today, we are going to finish this uh, Run Money Game uh, trilogy. Uh, we're reacting to Money Game Part 3. Um, and, you know, Part 1, Chef's Kiss. Part 2, Hit Home. Even though the song was, you know, dropped a couple years ago, it's still relevant today, especially when he went in into, like, you know, essentially capitalism and it, 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 just, it just it just made so much sense given like the economy right now it just made too much sense and i'm expecting like great things from from part three but before we get into this reaction if you have not already hit that subscribe button that like button that noti bell we can drop super thanks if you want to support the channel i appreciate you and if you have any reaction requests hit me up in those comments below or you can dm me via my socials which you can find in the description let's get into this reaction ren Money game, part three. Dale. I don't know if that's red, but I think it is. I just do to the rings and um that is ren like listen ren I'm, I'm talking directly to you right now my guy save some talent <laughs> for the rest of us because you are just taking it all man you can play the guitar you can you can sing you can play the piano you have like an artistic vision for like your videos that you're heavily involved in like you're you're, you're just good at everything man <laughs> you're good at everything it's wild Oh. Your score is beautiful, though. Yep, that's right. It was the rings. The rings gave it away. Okay, I was right. I don't know if I'm like bugging here because it's been, you know, a couple weeks since I reacted to part one, but I feel like that little, um, that little hymn right there was a callback to part one of the, uh, of the series, uh, money game. Um, I could totally be off, but I feel like I'm not. And I don't believe that him was used in part two. So I'm a, I'm going to lock it in and say, this was a callback to, uh, to part one. Let me tell you a story about a boy named Jimmy One years old and his first words were mine, mine, gimme Two years old he was walking, three years old walking quickly Four years mm. old he was running round the pavements of his city Five years old and his daddy told him Listen here son, you gotta learn to be a man A man he works for what he wants Six years old Bro, Ren is such a bard man It's like he's he's telling a story like literally he's he's telling a story like literally but it's it rhymes 
And it's not like a nursery rhyme kind of rhyme. It's like he's rhyming the way a um again I don't want to say rapper here because like the rhyme thing's a little bit different, but definitely like a sort of spoken word poet. Um, because there's a fine line between being a spoken word poet and being a rapper, um, a, a conscious rapper, I, I I should say. But like he, I don't know, I don't know how he does it. I don't know how he does it, and it's it's absolutely mad. That's why my, my, give me Two years old he was walking Three years old walking quickly Four years old he was running round the pavements of his city Five years old and his daddy told him Listen here son, you gotta learn to be a man A man he works for what he wants Six years old and he's reading writing Top of the bunch and when he's seven His regression made him student number one Eight years old and he's praised for unusual grades Nine, his parents paid for private school to nurture the flame Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, he ascends and ascends His daddy tells him, son, money is the means to all ends Fourteen, solving complex mathematic equations At fifteen, IQ 150, still elevating Sixteen, he develops complex software code That detects weaknesses in cybersecurity protocols Seventeen, and he sells his vision Keeping the share, not yet an adult, but he's practically a millionaire. 18, and his daddy tells him, Now you're a man. This world don't give a damn about you, so take all that you can. Now Yo, oh my goodness, man. Um, one thing I want to point out too is that the um person is playing the instrument, the piano. If you remember in part one. Guy in a mask, like the same same kind of mask, was was playing the guitar. Ren was going to do something to him, which I can't see on YouTube because you no, know, I don't want to get suppressed. But yeah, um, again, another another little Easter egg in a callback to part one of the series. Now going into how Ren is describing like this kid's evolution and growth, I don't know what it is, but I feel like personally, like I know somebody that has sort of lived like that. And that's kind of mad to me. Yeah. It's just crazy. And the way he is so descriptive with his words and his verse, like, I feel as though like this can't be a made up situation. Like there has to be somebody out there. It might not be a total, like one for one, but like th this just, this just seems, this just seems like too real, man. And again, it's just a, it's just a call to Ren's writing ability, man. His delivery, his vocals, it's insane. Nobody else is doing it like him. Nobody. Now you're a man. This world don't give a damn. Except for, uh, except for Scanlan, you know, box mocking a shout out. <laughs> I'm about you, so take all that you can. 19, he turns a profit, stocks and shares, invest in product. 20, double down deposits. 21, his income rockets. 22, he learns the truth is just an obstacle to wealth. If you manipulate mm. the data, then the lie will sell itself. 23, mm. a life of luxury, crystal and cocaine. 24, he makes the Forbes list, they're applauding his name. 25, and his daddy tells him, listen here, son. While you're sitting in that palace, that don't mean that you won. 26, a business shift he switches business to arms he's 27 dealing nuclear and shells in iran 28 inside the senate money bought him a seat he's 29 a role of counsel in the president's suite now he's 30 his daddy says you're losing the race you're just a servant to the king not even in second place 31 mm. a big maneuver for his daddy's approval moving imports over borders from the exports out of cuba 32 moving grams growing kilos to tons he's 33 filling warehouse with powder and guns 34 turf war with nobody to stop it blind eye from the popo inside of his pocket again just listen to the progression of the instrumental from how it started to where we're at right now like you know the way is increasingly getting quicker more dark you know something is coming i don't know what it is but i can feel something is coming and that's just um like a tool you know ren uses in his arsenal to push forward you know emotion um not many artists do it uh he's one of the few that does it another artist that does it that i know of from the top of mind is willow smith um she, again uses instrumental as well as her voice as instrument to create feelings of like anxiety and panic 
Um, and, you know, Ren is doing something very similar with this, uh, with the piano uh, keys. And also, I want to mention as well, it's, um, it's very telling how, you know, this this person he's describing is looking for their father's approval. He's doing all he all that he's doing, the way he's he's evolved, just for a couple simple words from his father saying that I'm proud of you, and that is so sad. Um, but it's a reality, and it's a truth and matter of like how the world works for some kids and their families. And if uh, you know you're a parent out there that's listening to to myself. <laughs> Uh, and this reaction, uh, you know, I'm telling you right now, this is your sign. You know, reach out to your kid, uh, tell your kid that you're proud of them, um, and uh, because you, you you don't know um, how much you know those words would mean to to said kid, and 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 this one, um, you know, it it will mean the world to the kid that Ren's describing, and you never know, it could be a similar situation to your child. Uh, so yeah, th this this is your sign. Tell your kid that you're you love them and you're proud of them. And uh, I hope that conversation goes well. Body to stop it, blind eye from the popo inside of his pocket. Thirty-five. He gets the call. I'm sorry, son. Bears your father had a heart attack. I'm sorry, he's gone. Thirty-six, mm. getting pissed off, abusing his product. Thirty-seven, eyes glazed, disposition demonic. Thirty-eight, with a prostitute, a moment of passion, heating up a silver spoon and then chasing the dragon. Thirty-nine, getting reckless and hungry for power. Daddy's words are still driving him to kill and devour. Makes a move against the cartel, but the strategy's flawed. They retaliate and leave him in a hospital ward. A bullet buried in his vertebra and one in his leg. The doctor sighs and says, I don't think you'll be walking again. Fuck. Mm. We got a full on band. Let me tell you a story about a boy named Jimmy. He was 40 and he cursed the words, mine, mine, gimme. 41, he wasn't walking. 42, not walking quickly. 43, never running round the pavements of his city. 44, inside a palace with a mountain of gold. But those riches turn to rubble when perspective evolves. Weighing heavy on his conscience is the value of gold. Lamborghini for a life, trading money for souls. Jimmy followed the code inside the land of the free. Put your hand inside the cookie jar, take more than you need. And his example is exaggerated versions of me. And it's a version of him. And it's a version of she. And it's a version of you. There's no escaping the blame. The way we live is parasitic. Fuck the money and fame. Call the music. I'm gonna pause right here. The way he just flipped that, I didn't know that was coming, but the way Ren, oh my God. I'm, I'm honestly at a loss for words, man. Um, and this is my real, genuine and authentic reaction. First time like, hearing this uh, part three, I, man, there's just something about what he did there that is just so impactful. Like, it's from his perspective, the child's perspective. And, like, now that he's older, what he cherished when he was younger, what he was able to do when he was younger, he can no longer do, man. That, this, a oh, man... Like, I really appreciate everybody that told me to react to the Money series. Um, <clears throat> I thought it was just, like, a song about, like, capitalism and stuff like that. But it's so much more than that, man. It's so much more. And the song's not even over yet. 
but I don't that I don't know I don't know why, but what he did it resonates with me with with my soul, man. I I felt it. It was beautiful. No escaping the blame. The way we live is parasitic. Fuck the money and fame. Call the music. This isn't entertainment. This is real life. Facts. The way we live is lunacy. Community it declines. Hyperpolarized, always fighting, then we divide. Mm. Truth is less important than the money that we designed. Facts. The money's an invention. Politics from our invention. They all come from people's ideas. Did I mention? Borders an invention. Law and order fuel the tension. It leads to people killing each other. My solution. Everything is subject to change. We could build utopias if individuals were taught to use their brains. But if we teach kids in schools to always be sheep and put themselves before the herd, if there's more money for me, then there's no future I see where the humans survive with parasites inside a petri dish with cannibal minds. Mold will grow upon the surface and consumes till it dies. And our fate could be the same without this story to the wise. Forty-five. Jimmy comes home out of the rain, soaking wet upon a wheelchair, drinking again. He is everything he wants. He is fortune and fame. He's a fortunate fool with an unfortunate fate. With a forty-five caliber aimed at his brain. Forty-five a fitting number, cause his age is the same. Here's the words of his father. It's such a damn shame. Then he presses on the trigger of a money game. My people, man. This right here, like, was a masterpiece. Every single thing that he did in this video had a purpose nothing was without a purpose like i love the callbacks and easter eggs to the previous uh songs one of the things i really liked too was when um they brought the wheelchair and he mentioned that he can't walk and he just slumped down into the, like that chef's kiss there and then like when he stopped the music to do his spoken word like how he told the story too and how he aged and then he flipped like what his father like this this is man I had to walk off as part of this reaction because, like, it was just it was just too good. And I don't really do that often, but like when you know when you have something like this good, and it's it's impossible not to feel something. Um, like sometimes you might feel anger, sometimes you might feel sadness, sometimes you might feel regret, sometimes you might feel like, um. You relate to what he's talking about, but like you gotta feel something. That's if and if you don't, like I don't I don't know what to tell you. Something's not right if that's the case. Like this is a very polarizing song, so you have to feel one way or the other, either for or against. Agree or disagree, but you can't feel indifference. If you feel indifference, like you don't care, and that's part of the problem. That's and that's what Ren is talking about. Um, man, this was this was good. This was really good, uh, my people. Uh, listen, keep recommending uh, songs you want me to react to. It doesn't have to be Ren. Uh, it can be any artist. But if you want more content and reactions like this, put me on to similar types of music. 
this right here, what Ren did, I absolutely loved. Um, I was a little worried because I, you know, after my reaction to part two, because it didn't have a music video and um, my worries were for not because like part three, he smashed it, man. He smashed it. Enjoy your weekend. I will see you on Monday. Peace.